Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's computer room. Uh, today we're going to upgrade my Z800 and I'm doing this not just because my son needs to kill aliens more efficiently but also because I'm hoping to upload some videos showing me uh, playing Forza 6 and showing you how good a driver I am on the computer. Okay, the Z800 is a great computer. This is a workstation computer that was produced uh, around uh, 2010. And it was very expensive at the time. They've come down in price and they make a great platform for either a uh, video processing or even for gaming. So that's why I bought it. I bought this one for $400, which considering that some of them cost $10,000 in 2010, it's a pretty good deal. Okay, let's look at what I've got in this particular Z800. Uh, sorry, I'm Canadian, so I pronounce it as Z800 instead of Z800. So this came, this came stock with uh, some pretty good parts. It's got lots of bays for hard drives, uh, lots of room for expansion. Um, it's got a power source here. In this particular Z800, it comes with 850 watt power source that's built in easily removable with this handle. Um, it uh, was available with uh, over 1000 watt power source and that can be uh, used if you're going to have a really high performance gaming rig but 850 should be adequate for me. This is a dual CPU um, computer. Uh, this particular Z800 was fairly low spec. It came with uh, two Xeon E5506 2.13 gigahertz uh, CPUs and they are not particularly fast uh, this was pretty good for the day but definitely can be upgraded I currently have uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM in here you can put in a huge amount of RAM I'm going to upgrade that soon to 16 gigabytes pretty soon I've upgraded the video card the video card normally comes with is a uh, video uh, rendering card that was from 2010 which is no longer that fast and so I put in a gaming card the GeForce GTX 1060 so that's sort of up the power there but today we're gonna put in two new CPUs the ones I'm putting in today are the X5672 at uh, 3.26 gigahertz. These are 95 watt CPUs so they'll run fine with uh, the 850 watt source and also they're a lot faster than the uh, the E5506s that were in here. So that's what we're going to do today. That should keep my son happy and allow me to get a 30 frames per second uh, and force on forces 6. That's what I'm hoping to do. Okay, the first thing to do is make sure that there's no static electricity on your body. You should either have a static strap or touch some metal parts to make sure that no static electricity uh, is present on your body. And then you're going to take off these two coolers. These have slotted screws holding them on. Also, before I started working in here, I uh, vacuumed the whole area. Just to get rid of any dust that's happening. And you might know that in a Z800, they have a fan system for the memory. Uh, when I bought this Z800, uh, it was missing. And I've just uh, received a fan assembly in the, in the mail from eBay. I uh, paid $19 for this, so hopefully that will fit in right here. And if it works, that's going to be definitely a good deal. And by the way, the uh, this is the uh, X5672. And 
the writing's pretty faint. These are, of course, used. I've got these for $45 each off of eBay. And uh, that's a pretty good deal for quite a jump in computing power. I don't know if you can read that, but there you go. That's what we're going to install today. And we have to disconnect the, uh, the, uh, the power for each of these fans. Right, one right there, and one right there. There we go, that's off, and then off it comes. We'll have to clean up the bottom of this surface and apply more thermal paste. But these are the standard fans that come with the unit, and this should be adequate for what uh, we're putting in here today. And then to take the old CPUs out, you just flip this up. This is the lock. Fold this over, and these should come right out. And there we go. There's the old, and soon in with the new. Okay, so we've removed the uh, coolers as well as the CPUs. All that was very easy uh, to do. And we've got the CPUs. These have all surfaces have been cleaned. We just have to apply some thermal compound. I'm using Arctic uh, MX4. So we're gonna apply some of that and then put everything back together again. Okay, each uh, CPU can only go in one way. And on this particular one, my Z800, there's a little arrow in the upper left corner. You can see right there. And that goes in the upper left corner right here. And also there's two notches. Um, you can see a notch right there. There's a notch below, and those fit into notches in place. So we'll just drop that in. Okay. Okay, so that, I don't know if you guys can see there, but that's the notches are in place. It is in place on top and ready to go. So now we'll do the next one. Okay, the notches are in place. Ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to apply um, I guess about one gram of thermal compound. So I have my little syringe. I'm going to put um, a pea size amount in the center of each CPU, which hopefully will be around one gram. There I go. That looks like a little bigger than a pea size. <laughs> it's a little longer, but now it's a little tall. longer. So maybe a tiny bit. Um, yeah. Then. I put the fan cool. well, actually, I've got to lock the CPU in, I forgot to do that. So we put this down, and we put this like so. Then, I'll lock this one down too, as well. Put that in place, and down we go. Okay, both are locked in. We've got some of our paste on that one. Let's put our Wait, cooler. Which way does it go? It uh, goes fans face this side. Okay, so let's see. I'll hold it down. Okay, that one's in place. And now we'll just tighten that one down. Okay, we've got the cooler in place. We're just gonna tighten this down. Live on this side. 
a little bit on this side. A little bit up here. A little bit here. We're gonna keep going this way until everything is tightened down. This is the first time I've ever done this. I always thought this would be too difficult for me to do myself, but obviously I am nervous, but it looks pretty, pretty straightforward to do this. One of the great things about having a desktop is that you can make these kind of adjustments, make these kind of... Okay. Okay, let's see. That one was not in. Okay, so all the bolts are tightened up on this fan. The electrical connector is reconnected. This one's ready to go. Now we're gonna do this one. My assistant will apply the thermal compound in the center of the CPU, about a pea size or thereabouts. I don't know if you can actually use too much of this. Maybe you can, but let's see. Okay, so that looks a little less than mine, but that should be fine. Mm -hmm. oh, that is about the size of a pea. Mm. Okay. Okay. Put the lid back on. Okay, so now we will install the next cooling unit. Right on top. Okay, and we'll just tighten this one down and then we're, we'll almost be done. Okay, that's all four bolts holding this down are all tight. Let's put in the electrical connector, like, like so. Okay. These are installed. I'm pretty excited. This should allow me to play Force of Six, hopefully at 30 frames per second, which is the minimum required to make everything work or look smooth. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to upload a video soon showing my incredible abilities on Force of Six. <laughs> I hear laughter. Hmm. Okay, my CPUs are installed. We're going to install the memory at a different time because uh, it hasn't arrived yet. It's uh, coming all the way from China. Um, so now I can install the fan assembly and see if that's going to work. In theory, this is extremely simple. Uh, the, uh, as you can see, we've got a fan assembly. This is going to uh, cool the memory. And right now, if you don't have this in, the computer still works, but it gives you a, an error code which uh, makes the startup uh, boot up time take longer, but this will hopefully get rid of that plus also give me uh, cooling for my memory and this should just slide right in. Hey, that's pretty good. Except it didn't slide right in. Okay, I've got to get it to go into here. Hey, that's okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, I've got the um, I've got the memory fans in. Uh, I had a little trouble because I was trying to uh, I was trying to fit them into this slot when actually they go in deeper and fit into this slot right here. And so I guess this may be for a different memory or a different fan module, but that's one's in and hopefully connected. So now we'll wire everything up, connect all the cords, and see if this works. Uh, memory fans are working, uh, CPU fans are working, all fans are working, things are looking good, and yes, it's working! Good. Now let's play! <laughs> okay everybody, thank you for watching Photo Mike's Garage. Uh, in the future I'm going to have some uh, Force of Six videos for you guys to watch, so stay tuned.
Thanks for watching. Wow, that's so much better.